Hey everyone, we are out here today. We just parked on the side of the road here. We got permission to all this woods. There's nowhere to park. Kurt's getting geared up and I got my junk in here. Be using the AT Pro today. Small search coil. There's an old house back in there. Rock chimney site. So hopefully we'll do good today. I'll show y'all fine. Here's the old house. We've been here about 15 minutes now. That's all that's left. Get a better view. First hole I dug had an organ reed in it. Old organ reed. Where's an ivy? Here it is. Old rock chimney house. I'm not sure how old, but it's got to be pretty back there. 1800s for sure. Old. Chimney there. It's pretty cool. You don't see them all the time, especially not around here. And there's a well over here, about a hundred feet deep. I don't know. It looks pretty deep. <laughs> Kirk's down there. Here's the well. There's a weight on there. Rock line or two. Got a good signal here. Show up as an 84, and you can see it was right there. It's an old buckle. This buckle's from World War One or World War Two. All the websites are different. But that's an old buckle there. Goes off a web belt or just a regular belt. Keep the pants up. All right, I fun. got a good signal here. I dug that buckle right there. This is showing up as a, a dime, a quarter. Ah, just a mason jar lid. Man, that's my luck. Yep. Old one. Ball mason. Could have been something good. Just found this old axe head. I'm uh, taking it back to the truck. I got too much stuff in my pouch. I gotta dump it. Found too much trash. Stuff like this gives a good signal, actually. These axe heads, which are pretty cool to find. I only discriminate out the nails. I kind of leave it to where I could find the big items. I have my iron discrimination at 31 on AT Pro. And normally, when I'm far from the house, I keep it around 22. But I was hunting right near it. Wow, this is a grown up place, that's for sure. Just dug this nice little metal comb made out of brass. Might have been for horses or something. But anyway, it's pretty cool. It's old got though. Awesome signal here, guys. I've been extracting it from the hole, and it's a nice butt plate. It looks brass. Two holes in it. That's cool. It's probably about 1860s or older. It's awesome find there. You don't find many butt plates anymore. Yeah, some bricks. If you look up, you'll see a snake. There he is. Black snake in the tree. Here he comes. Oh, there goes the snake. Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. Little rascal. <laughs> Survivor man's gonna show you how to catch a snake. <laughs> Is he biting himself? <laughs> Survivor man has a snake. <laughs> I got a camera in my hand. All right, come here. Black snake. He's about three feet long or so. Nice find. You don't find these every day. There he is. He was just slithering up around the chimney over there. And Kurt happened to see him. He stinks really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. <laughs> 
we don't see many snakes. Here's all my finds for today. I did alright. It wasn't a really productive day, but I found a few good things. So it makes it worth it. Got this nice butt plate. It's not as old as I thought it was. This is probably 1890s to turn of the century. Uh, it goes off shotgun. Here's the shotgun shell I found two feet from it. It's a, a UMC New Club 12 gauge. And by this design, you can look them up online. And this one dates between like, you know, 1889 to like 1905 or something like that. So uh, that kind of dates the butt plate in that range. So that's pretty cool to know. I found this little buckle. You can still use it. It's uh, it's military related, or at least I think it is. Uh, it's probably from the First World War or the Second World War. They could have used them in both. But I know on a few websites it said it was from the First World War. And um, I dug another one over here. See, just a few weeks ago. Found like part to a makeup compact. Some weird thing here it has writing on it. That piece of brass, whatever it goes off of. Little horse comb. Missing the handle. It's made out of solid brass. I don't think you'd comb your hair with that, so it has to be for a horse. Here's a um, organ reed. Goes off a little reed organ. Lots of people had them in their houses back in the day. Here's a 1944 wheat penny. And then I dug this Alabama State Tax Commission token. So that's about it on that thing. So, that's all my finds. And thanks for watching.